Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It's Eden Day. And Eden Day means that we spawned with... Is it gonna... What did we spawn with? Why am I green? Is this infestation? I don't think that turns green. We spawned the Book of Belial, though. Really good fire rate. Uh, it claims that our damage is okay, but we'll, that remains to be seen. Uh, we also have the AAA battery. Nah, damage is not okay. It lied. So we did spawn with infestation. <clears throat> yeah, it lied. But that's okay. At least I have a good fire rate. Uh, and anyway, Book of Lyle. Plus two damage on use. Um, guarantees every devil room or angel room will uh, open. And stay open. Health up and shot speed up. Alright. And we spawn with Infestation, which is when I get hit, I spawn Kamikaze Flies, one to three. Those do twice my damage, which isn't very much right now. But that's fine. Oh, of course, you can only get a Devil Room from the book if you would actually be able to earn that Devil Room. So we won't get one this floor. That's what I'm trying to say, basically. Oh, I thought it was going to freaking charge in at me. And I messed up. Nice. Plus two damage. That's way more worth it. Uh, the AAA battery made it so that uh, if I got to all but one charge for my use item, so two charges in this case, uh, that room that I got that charge, I just get the last one too. We have two Tinted Rocks that I can't currently access. Which sucks. But I'll clear this floor for that purpose. The Haunt. By the way, Curved Horn... At least was. It might not still be, but I, I, it might still be. Uh, out of the damage multiplier or formula. Out of the formula. Completely. Now it might be in part of it or it might be in all of it. I don't know. But uh, the book definitely isn't. Okay. Only got hit once. That's not bad. Super bandage. One red heart and two soul hearts up. That's okay, you know, I got two soul hearts out of it. They're tinted rock, of course, but doesn't even matter. I can't do anything about it. I would love to, and I'm gonna, like, hope to and try to, but it looks like I'm just missing three, uh, just missing three, uh, tinted rocks, which sucks. Oh, well... The dream is dead. Alright. We still came out pretty far ahead on that one. That one was a good floor. Can't go in there. Would love to bomb to this as well. Hey. Okay. Where are you? The sun. Full map minus the top secret room. 100 damage to every enemy in the room and 1,000 red hearts of recovery. I like keys. Hey, I have a bomb now. I don't remember getting that. I don't know how that happened, but it did. I will bomb here. It wasn't there. But everything's fine because I have a bad gas pill now. And I know what it is. So, everything basically should fear me forever. Alright, I one-shot them, which is good. That means my damage is actually okay now, at the very least. Thanks to the curved horn, most likely. There is my item room. Mulligan. Every time I hit with a tier, there's a one-sixth chance that I spawn a kamikaze fly as well. Uh, that's not affected by luck in this game, apparently. It wasn't in the original, just most things that weren't affected by luck that seemed like they could have been uh, in the original are affected by it now. This one isn't, apparently. So you just flat one-sixth. And it doesn't, uh, familiar steers don't count like they do for Guppy. It's still solid. Still nothing really not to like. 
So I'm good with that. Do I one shot? I do one shot. Wonderful. Sometimes life is a nice guy. Okay, I handled the flies really, really quickly. Which is awesome. Can get this tinted rock, which is also awesome. Never mind. Don't mind me. Alright, so I've cleared enough of this floor. I'm going for uh, boss rush. I'm not going to go back. I always like checking boss rush now. I don't know why. It's because people told me they want to see me at least check boss rush more often. That could do. Uh, 0.5 damage up and range up. Uh, since I'm going to buy the dead cat, I'll buy all of these. So, uh, the mark, 1 damage up, 0.2 speed up, and a soul heart, and a dead cat. Well, Necronomicon damaged every enemy in the room. just doesn't matter. Uh, I was just doing that to get it out of other pools. Uh, dead cat sets you to 1 red heart, and gives you 9 respawns at 1 red heart. My first guppy piece. <clears throat> Should be nice. Blood donation machine, I don't need that. Okay. More bombs. I like more bombs. Certainly better than the alternative of less bombs. Okay, I like doing this room without alerting any of the spiders, but sometimes that just doesn't work out. Speed down, I don't mind, my speed is okay. Uh, even without that speed that I just lost. So that's fine. And my damage has uh, come up nicely, I would say. We're in a pretty good place. The leech. I don't like the leech. Because it means that I can't uh, stay at a half heart if I want to be in like red hearts and soul hearts and stuff. Uh, it attacks enemies. And if it kills an enemy, it uh, heals you for half a red heart. It's not like bad or anything, it just doesn't suit me. I will certainly buy this. Starter deck allows me to hold two cards, drops a card and makes it so that pills can't drop. Pills, uh, Pill drops are replaced by card drops. So that's cool. We didn't really encounter that many pills, but it's fine. Holding two cards is worthwhile. It's a very good item. And I have this uh, Judgment card, which actually I'm just going to use to blow up this dude uh, for Devil Room chance. Wait, I have the book. Never mind. Whatever. I wanted five cents for the next arcade to show up. That's the real reason. We'll just pretend that. Sounds good. Okay. Gotcha. Health up. Sounds good. Three red chests, that's fine. We're still locked into double rooms because we did spend health last time. The moon or the fool? I'll take the moon. Use it first thing on the next floor. Okay. Doesn't look like... Well, this could be far if this doesn't connect, but it does. Okay, I can bomb to the item room, and I don't have very many keys, so that's a pretty appealing idea to me. Good to know. Strange Attractor. Not with these tears. Strange Attractor, uh, one of the real bad but real silly items in the game. Gives, it a, gives your tears magnetism. So, they attract enemies uh, and, like, drops and stuff. It's quite horrifying. Causes you to get hit pretty much more than, like, any other anything. <laughs> it's just, like, awful. It's good with some things, but I don't have even, like, one thing it's even close to usable with. It's silly sometimes, though. Don't get me wrong. But with these tiers, it's just like a death sentence. And with this build, in general, like health and whatnot. Health and backup plans. 
Ooh, I would love to take that. Hopefully we can get um, a purse, because that would be nice. That uh, all golden chests unlock for free. Oh wow, that's next to the curse room too? Is, what is this? Like, the best day ever? It's a little bit of backtrack, but that's not a big deal in the face of a free curse room after your free item room from the same secret room. That's just a perfect secret room. Oh. Oh, well, it's not the secret room's fault. At least I didn't pay health to get in here. Could be good. That's not Cricket's head. What are you talking about? Okay, just ignore that. <clears throat> Get out of here. We're making our way to 15 cents in this arcade that I cleverly planned. Could be all it takes to get me the rest of the way. This doesn't hurt my devil room chance, uh, even if I didn't already have the book. Okay. One health up, four uh, hearts of recovery. And uh, in this game, it's still a speed up, but only if I get something else that modifies my speed. Okay. Uh, let's just fight first. Excellent. Another health up. I'll wait on that one. Cool. Pentagram. One damage up. up. 0.2 devil room chance increase. And then I'll just get this out of the uh, library pool and whatnot. Uh, that's one black heart on use. Six room charge. Let's keep going because I actually want to make the shop happen. Okay. I would love it if I could kill you dudes next to the cluster, but that's not going to happen. I will actually bomb this one, though. Ah. Empress, 1.5 damage up and 0.3 speed up for the room. I'm not making enough money here. I can go in there, though, so that could be all I need. Doing it? Wow, screw you. Screw it. Going all out on this room. I'm not taking Abel, by the way. Abel is really, really bad. Actively hurts my chances of doing well. Okay, so I can't do anything about getting enough money except bombing the machine in there. Which I guess I'll go do. Oh my god, calm down. Okay. Oh, battery would be nice. But this isn't worth bombing for. I just wanted a purse. Like, I don't really need to hold two charges for my item. Because you can't stack the book with itself. Just save up for the next floor, even though that doesn't help me get the trinket that I wanted. XL floor? Oh boy. Well, that's unfortunate, but... Because I lose a devil room that I was guaranteed to earn. I lose a shop that I was pretty much definitely going to be able to afford. Uh, that was weird. They stayed like that. Uh, and I lose any other room that might have been important, like a curse room. Uh, besides the item room and the boss room, I don't lose those. I get both of those. You know, honestly, now's a really good time to use the sun. Oh, perfect. Okay, so there's a shop down there. That's a really big trek. That I don't know about taking, especially when both item rooms are uh, so close to where I need to be. Lazarus's rags. 
Respawn as Revived Lazarus. That's a 1.2 damage multiplier. And, uh, you know, some other boosted stats, I think. I don't know how it would compare to my current character, though. And uh, I definitely... Well, I'd already have one red heart, so the one red heart part of the respawn is fine. D100. I'm pretty happy with my build, though. I don't want a D100. Then again, this build could easily fall apart in like two seconds flat. I'd still keep my guppy piece. And I'd just get some other potentially useful stuff. I don't want to use it uh, without... Or it's the D6, D4, and the D20. I don't want to use it in the same place as the uh, book. Because I don't want to reroll the book. So, let's see what we get instead. Monstro's Lung with freaking Tech 2. Great. Let's go for it. I mean, at least I have a quick charge on uh, Monstro's Lung. Oh, this is so bad. Obviously, I also have the Celtic Cross. I'm just going to attempt this because I never take Tech 2. It'll be kind of amusing. The Monster's Lung hopefully makes up for the damage to some extent. Okay, I have uh, Leo or Thunder Thighs. I couldn't really tell you. The aesthetic very easily can be overridden. I don't know if I have Magic Mushroom or if I'm large for some other reason. But I'm large for some reason. Whatever it may be. This is going to be so bad. I don't know why I'm rolling with this instead of just like re-rolling my build again. But I, I guess it's as punishment for actually allowing myself to re-roll my build. I'm not going to the shop because boss rush, I won't have time. I'm not even going to the top secret room because I'm, I don't know what's up with that one. Okay, I must murder you. I mean, the quick monstro's lung is really helpful. That makes this like kind of a decent idea. Oh, do it. Oh, don't. Okay, there's a soul heart there that I wouldn't mind having. Cool. I got the soul heart of my dreams. We have achieved victory. We're definitely going to the chest because this build is really bad. Lump of Coal doesn't do anything for the tech too, but if I get it, it would be helpful for the minor amount it can do for the um, monster's lung. Increases the damage and size of my tears based on the distance they've traveled. I gotta go for Cricket's head. Uh, 0.5 damage up and 1.5 damage multiplier. I don't know if I rolled into Magic Mushroom or not, uh, so like it might not be a damage up, but it also could be. Ooh, this would take a while. Oh, I obviously also have uh, the Ball of Tar, where I track slowing on the ground. I also seem to have Anemic, I guess, because I don't think I was tracking blood already, uh, which is a range up and I track blood on hit. Uh, yeah, Baltar also a chance to shoot a slowing tier, as well as the tracking the slowing on the ground. Remember, it doesn't matter if I take red heart damage generally, so I doesn't matter I don't have soul hearts, it just matters that I don't have health. Honestly, I, I do output damage relatively quickly for what I've got. Can't hate this too much. It's just the tech, uh, tech 2 is useless. For some stats on it, it's a 0.65 damage multiplier. It's 10 times per second at half of your damage. 
So it's doing like 0.325, uh, you know, it's doing 0.325 of your damage. 0.325 times, of course. And then your tears, which are normally uh, hyper reduced in rate. I don't know why Monstro's uh, lung is charging so quickly. But uh, those do full damage at 0.65. Okay, I'm gonna die and I don't really mind. I wouldn't mind getting the other item from this, but I'm I'm not at all. I guess I'm kind of upset to lose, oops, well I didn't plan on getting hit there. Kind of upset to lose the health ups, but at the same time, it is not important. Ideally, I should still be able to make it through uh, other things. Should be able to make it through this floor pretty comfortably. Hmm. Okay, so I have the mind, I guess. Because, uh, didn't roll into the compass and map, you'd be able to see them under the map there. And, um, you can't even roll into shop items with D100, so. Not a concern. I didn't roll into the wafer, I already know that. Only 11 keys. I'm not gonna take the chance. Oof, that was scary. That's good. I, I actually need that, so I need to not take it yet. Okay, not quite that fast. Okay, good. I'm glad that actually managed to hit, like, at all. The slowing's really good with, uh, Tech 2. Give it credit for that. Daddy Long Legs, so it's not up to me whether I live or die during this, uh, boss fight. That one was dodgeable. But it can just stomp you, and you, you can't react to it. Because it's random with no warning. These are uh, not random with no warning. These are totally fair. Okay, I'll take that after. Okay, Gimpy's good. When I get hit, I have a chance to drop a Soul Heart or Black Heart, and when I kill an enemy, they have a chance to drop a Half Red Heart. A Magic Scab is a Health Up and Luck Up, like it said. And then this is a health up if I get it to the next floor or to another eternal heart. I'm just going to take it to the next floor. And everything's going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. This is a shortcut, so I guess I'm going this way. Wait, do I have x-ray vision too? Wow. That's pretty sick. This was a good uh, navigation roll, at least, for the D100. Gotta appreciate that. Try not to walk into any tears when possible. Okay, I can get back to full or optimal health. Better than full health, honestly. Because I can get to a half heart, so I get Polaroid invincibility. When I get hit down to half a heart. So this is better. I don't want that. Fortunately, the uh, D100 doesn't reroll your trinket. Nor does the D4, nor does a 1 or 6 dice room. So we got to keep the plus 2 damage. And that's mega important. Ah, couldn't get out of the way. It's one of those dodges that you just have to be either really fast or really lucky to make. I'll come back for that key. The reason that I didn't go is because there was stuff on the ground that would have hit me. 
Nice. Now I need a full heart somewhere. I'll check over here. That was probably a full heart way up there. But I am probably lazy. Full hearts. That black hearts good too. Okay, that's, that's worrying. God dang it. I totally could have done that. I just missed one shot. Important shot to miss, though, to be fair. Alright, so I don't have guaranteed soul hearts or anything. That was just a lucky activation of the... That's fine. I'll just use this for mapping anyway. That was just a lucky activation of Gimpy. Oh, I don't need to use this for mapping, because I have all the mapping. That's right. That's fine. Means I'll just get more halfies anyway. I'm killing dudes. It'll all be okay. Or I'll get more soul hearts as well. Look down, that's kind of unfortunate. Balls of Steel is most excellent though. Alright, I slowed him. That was dumb of me. That slowing was only on the ground. So it was from the stuff I track with the uh, ball of tar. Honestly, my kill times are not bad. Yeah, this is, I don't know, this is solid. I'll come back for the health if I need to, but three soul hearts is pretty manageable as far as uh, invincibility and whatnot is concerned. Especially with the surprisingly not bad uh, damage output through Monstro's Lung. Nice. That's fine. At least I get to go to the secret room then. Get a couple of bombs. Turn the world into working for me here. Could definitely get to full red hearts though right now, or optimal red hearts that is. Or full if I wanted to, but that'd be bad. So just carry this around. Oh, cool. Don't even have to fight. That's a close dodge. Oh, that was just unfortunate how that played out. Celtic Cross seems to have activated as well. The invincibility does stack in this game, so I had 12 seconds instead of just 5. Which is cool. Nice. Thank you for actually using that side this time. So close. Alright, well, I'm still feeling okay. So I'll just continue on. Curse of Darkness is no big deal. Tiny Planet is not good strats because of Monstro's Lung. Piggy Bank is fine though. Uh, so is Nod Leaf. So is Hot Bombs. Piggy Bank gives me three cents and every time I get hit, I drop money that I didn't already have. Uh, Nod Leaf is if I stand still and don't shoot for uh, like a second and a half, I get invincibility, like absolute invincibility, until I move or shoot again. And Hot Bombs makes my bombs drop uh, fire on the ground that damages enemies. I walk over it, and it lasts a pretty decent while, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill 
Let me last. Just for backup plans and the potential soul heart that I actually got. Come on. There we go. Stop spawning so many. I don't need them. Okay, so I get to skip one room through this. I'm gonna just take the damage. I wanted the soul heart too bad. Go Gluttony last again. Oh, thanks Gluttony. You're a swell dude sometimes, you know that? Again, backup plan. Robo baby shoots a laser with me. Probably does more damage than I do per tier. But it's still pretty bad. The laser spectral for whatever reason. Which is kind of cool. I don't care about being optimal. Technically that would be better healing for me because it would keep the Polaroid invincibility. Uh, just keep that in mind. That's the one that should be taken to the boss in this exact scenario health-wise. Got that Kilted Cross activation again. Let's see what's in here. Red chest. Devil room. Not worthwhile. Thinking I'll need to take these two hearts anyway, though. So it doesn't much matter. Is optimal for that particular boss scenario. Two of diamonds doesn't help me at all. I'm just gonna take these. I think that's much, much smarter and safer. Didn't even get the Lazarus' Rags revive. Oh, that's such bad luck. Gotta use that anyway. Uh, I didn't need to wait to use it. I was just forgetting about it completely. Gotcha. Alright, that was pretty close. Uh, that was a weird build to continue with, but it works out. It works out. All right, that was interesting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.